Magandang araw sa ating mga manonood. Welcome to another episode of Sini Pinoy. At ako po ang inyong lingkod, Gigi Javier Alfonso. At ngayong araw, isang batikang film and television producer ang makakasama natin. Mga kaibigan, ikinagagalak ko na makasama ngayong araw na ito si Malu Choa Fagar. Hello, Malu. G gandang araw. <laughs> gandang araw sa'yo. <laughs> Bago tayo magsimula sa ating mga kwentuhan, magbabalik ang Sini Pinoy. Welcome back to Cine Pinoy, and our guest for today is veteran TV and film producer Malu Choa Fagar. Oh, Malu, let's start, yes, ma. Ha? Go. Start na tayo dito sa ating mga questions. Yes, ma. Now, number one question. Talking about your roots, saan nagsimula at saan nanggaling si Malu? <laughs> Chowa Fagar. Siyempre, nanggali ako sa tiyan ng nanay ko. Wala <laughs> naman choice. Parang lahat tayo dumadaan doon. <laughs> and, anyway, and uh, nung lumabas ka na, nung lumabas na ako, at nag-swim ka na, uh, palabas. Uh, 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 natuwa, uh, nandun yung tatay ko, taga-salo. <laughs> Ay! Hindi. <laughs> so, so, my parents, that's Rolly Chowa and my mom's Emerita. So I was born in Manila. Wala kami probinsya boring, you know. It's just uh, hindi di ba typical. So di urban girl. Yeah. Okay. So I was born in a hospital. That's it. Tuloy natin yan. It's a middle class family. So right. I have uh, we're five. I have five. Uh, I have four more siblings. There's we're all girls. I'm the eldest. Okay. Except for one boy. Yun lang. Ganon. Oo. Oh, oh, eh, paano naman naumpisa ka niyang bakit ka napunta sa, di ba, nag-mascom ka? Oh, ano ba oh. sabi ng tatay? Ba, Hindi. Noong una, <laughs> noong una, ang ganda yung kwento ka. Ah, noong una, ah, gusto ko mag... Ano ba, oh. ng tatay o ng papa? Sa, papa. My papa. papa. Oh, your papa. I wanted to, I was, I enrolled myself sa ano, Supi Manila. Soksay. Uh, Because I wanted to take up Uh, hotel and restaurant management. Oh, wala sa akin yung TV TV kasi sabi ko I don't want to work every day kasi walang pahinga ang TV eh. You oh, know, it's like yeah. news, hindi ka pwedeng mag-absent. Pero akala la glamour lang 'yan. Oo, oh, oh. oh. 'yun ang sabi ng tatay ko pagkatapos. <laughs> Bakit hindi ka mag-mascom? Sabi niya. It's a glamorous job. Well, ano kaya yung glamorous job? So naisip ko rin ma tapos sabi niya I have the connections kasi mm. he's with the sales. Uh -oh. And and I and then nung nasa UP Manila ako nahirapan ako sa sock size ay sa math right. na, <laughs> sa sciences, 'di ba? Eh. Kaya nga, kaya ako nagmaskom. Sabi ko magmamaskom na lang ako. <laughs> Tama siya. Tama. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, isa ka sa mga naging haligi ng Itbulaga. Sa loob ng apat na dekada and you started there as a, a production assistant from yeah. ano, di ba? Ganun mm -hmm. yun, ang kwento mo. Mm -hmm. Ituloy mo nga yung kwento na yun. I started as a production assistant. I was working first because my dad was in Allied Broadcasting, which is a radio network. Uh -huh. uh, no. So, I, pinasok niya muna ako doon after my graduation. Mm -hmm. Immediately after graduation. So, I started working there, but I was assigned to traffic. Traffic is the one that schedules commercials. So, anyway, so I had to... I was making contracts, I was scheduling commercials sa iba-ibang istasyon ng radyo. So it was boring. It was really boring. Sa so, ikaw, ano to? Kumaraduit ako ng mask kung para mag-snowpake. Mag <laughs> you know what snowpake is? Yes. Pag, nagka, pag no, nagkamali. No, no. Hindi oh, na ganun ngayon. Hindi Wala na, na snowpake. Pag oh. nagkakamali ka ng kontrata, aayusin ko pa yun kasi I was a perfectionist. Hindi pwede sa inyo madumi. Mm. So, yun yung aking ano. Artwork. 
And then I received the call from uh, somebody I worked with. Kasi I had part-time ako noon eh, noon nasa Mascom. No, not part-time. There was a, ano tawag mo dun? Parang on the Internship, job. Internship. Uh, parang on parang the job. On the no, job it was an on the job. Yeah, as PA. Pero you're paid already. Something yeah, parang like that, may though. bayad. That was uh, Triumph Court of Fashion. Uh, diba? Okay. Uh, then, tumawag sa akin, you were recommended by Tato Malay and ano, would you want to do production assistant work for Id Bulaga? What is Id Bulaga? Siyempre, tanong ka. Eh. Sabi ko, sure. Kasi talaga out of boredom. Ay, sabi ko, ayoko na nito. I want some, some action. So I went, yun, sa Sulu Hotel. That was the office of Id Bulaga then. So that's how it started. Yeah. Then, exciting pala. Then, yun. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you say, when I say, instrumental ka sa pagpapalaki niyan, ganong katagal ba? Uh, tell your story. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ganong so, okay, katagal. Okay, 1979. Diba? By oh. the way, I extended here in UP before. <laughs> Kasi nga, I had to shift eh. Uh, so, oh. graduate ako 1979, but I should have graduated 77. So, I think that was God's way of putting me in it bulaga. Imagine me. Graduating mm. in 79, 77. Pero yung konsepto, binubuo pa lang. O no. nando nang ito May lang. concept na. Ah, okay. Okay. So, yun. So, I was hired as production assistant. Mm. And we were only like the EP, the AP, the two PAs, the writer, the talent coordinator. That's it. A set designer. Uh. Pito lang kami nagtatrabaho sa Ibulagano. Mm -hmm. Yung basic, ah. Dahil yung nasa production mismo. So from PA, I became associate producer. From associate producer, by luck, because that Rocky, the associate producer, resigned. So ako yung next in line. So mm -hmm. I was became I became associate. And then the executive producer resigned. So I was associate producer, so okay. I was next in line. So I became executive producer. Ayon. Now, what does it bulaga have? What does it have the na mm, na iba siya kaya hit ano yun uh, ano yung nando we were changing we were relevant you know we just don't say ah okay na yung portion na yan napapatakboy mo ng 100 years uh -oh. so it's like anong uso ngayon let's do it ganun whatever is relevant What, okay so you were always thinking of uh the general Idea. public yeah ko ano yung gusto nila yeah and yeah we that's had it. you had to have the feel of the masses your audience you have to one you have to know your target audience and okay. from your target audience you know ko ano dapat ang portions that you will have to mm. do for them to enjoy your show mm. so basically housewives ang oh, audience tama. ng noon ng noon time yun. And then you find out na marami rin palang nanonood ng lalaki. Kaya si Joey De Leon naging idol ng mga nasa kanto. Kasi may pagkakanto boy si Joey De Leon. <laughs> so, ta oh, uh, the so, sando look. Siya yung nagsasando look. Siya yung... So, ano. so nanonood din ang mga lalaki. Yeah. Mm -mm. Kahit na mm -mm. more babae nung araw. Yeah. Before that. Mm -mm. So, uh, eto. Eto, importante din to. Ito na naman ako. So, yung rele kanina, binanggit mo, relevant siya through mm. generations. Mm. Are we able to do that? Eh, di ba? It's always changing. Things change. Yeah. Pero merong, mm -mm. merong tumatagal na portion. Mm -mm. Oh. Ay, well, yun. Makikita mo sa numbers yun sa survey. Okay. Kung ano yung accepted ng tao. Survey. So, so may research din ako mapasok dyan. Yeah. It, actually, mm. it's really part of the, the, of the television show because... Yan ang gauge ng mga advertisers eh. Mm. Mataas ba rating mo? Mataas ang rating mo? Maraming papasok sa'yo. Pag wala kang rating, walang papasok sa'yo. Yun ang nangyayay sa Idulaga when we were starting. Ang kalaban namin was student canteen. Ay, oh, And student canteen's rating then was 50%. Ganun ka taas. Oh. Ang rating na Bulaga, 8%. Walang wow, gusto, wala, giant yung giant, student yeah. So, walang pumapasok oh. na, advert, na advertisements. You know, we had to sell at a very, very low price 
para lang meron. Magkaroon. Magkaroon. Nobody wanted to guess in Need Bulaga at that time. Nagbabayad ka na nga ng talent fee. Kunyari, si Imelda Papin, babayaran mo siya ng, guess ka naman sa Bulaga, bayaran ka namin ng 1,000. Ayaw pa rin nila. Mm. So it's because of the exposure. Diba? Importante yun na. Yung mga artista rin, pag nag-guess sila, gusto nila, makita talaga sila. Correct. Hindi oh. lang isa o dalawang tao na nanonood. <laughs> oh, mga kaibigan, ipagpapatuloy po natin ang ating kwentuhan with Ms. Malu Fagar. Magbabalik tayo dito sa Sine Pinoy. Nagbabalik ang Sini Pinoy at ang panauhin natin ngayon ay si Malu Choa Fagar. Oh, dearest Malu. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, kanina nabanggit mo, giant ang student canteen. So ito ka, yeah. di ba? With 8% viewership. Paano ngayon ninyo na-penetrate at mauna sa Itbulaga? Oo, ganito yan. So, after a year of Eid Bulaga, sinabi sa amin ng producer, if you don't rate, we will cancel the show. So, brain, kailangan nandun, nilagay kami for brainstorming. Isipin mo kasi, gumagawa kami, masyadong social yung aming portions noon. Send in your dreams. Diba? Mag, nagbigay kami ng, uh, napa-record namin yung isang kanta ng isang letter sender na may cancer. And then we produce it na meron pa siyang banda sa likod na kinanta ni Rico J. Puno yung kanta niya. Ganun yun, send in your dreams. Tapos ang kalaban namin, nagbubunot lang sa kabila para lang makakuha ng pera, di ba? Yun ang portion ng student canteen nun. So, uh, so, ano yun? Ibig sabihin, we were hitting the AB class. We were not hitting the masa, hmm. which is the main the main ano viewers audience of your uh, at that time at that plan. particular time yeah. yes so. so brainstorming brainstorming ano pa yung mga portions na pumasok di ba meron mr uh, yeah, you uh, so later uh, while on. while doing the brainstorming in mm -hmm. order for us to rate somebody suggested why don't you do a macho man uso na kasi no ng gay bars na sumasayaw yung mga lalaki oh. noon so that will hit the women sabi nila so okay so how do we do it how do we do it? we can just Tama-tama, there was yung aming taga-pros taga, taga din. Sabi niya, meron akong movie ipapasok. Ang, type, ang movie was Village People. Uh, the Village uh, People were the ones who say YMCA, Macho Macho Man. So, oh, let's use Macho Macho Man. Mm -hmm. Tapos from Macho Macho Man, gawin nating um, male dance contest. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa kabila, they were doing body language. Oh. Yung mga babaeng... Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, <laughs> ano, gawin naman natin lalaki. So, oh. that's it. And in October 1980, natalo namin ang student canteen. Ah, yun. For like, that, with that particular portion? Or there are others? No, because of that particular oh, portion. My goodness. So, it really got the, the mm. attention of the viewers. And then from then on, we started thinking na of different portions. Kunyari, uh, Made in the Philippines, mm -hmm. contest for mga kasambahay, mm -hmm. sales lady, my sweet sales lady, and Ay, then Miss, uh, little, ano? little Miss Philippines. Little Miss Philippines. And then we had different dance contests dahil nga, dahil nga sa macho macho with Sanadu. And lahat to, pumapa, pumasok yung hindi lang siya mere dancing, mm -hmm. pero pumasok ang creativity ng bawat contestant. Correct. Meron silang mm -hmm. theme. Mm. Oh, they would do themes. Ang galing. No. Ang galing. Ang galing ng Pinoy, you know, na hindi lang siya basta sayaw. May drama, may ganun. So, lumalabas. That's the early version of... Yeah, that was... Ano yun? Uh, America's Got Talent type. You know? Uh, 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 diba? Kasi mm -hmm. pinapalabas nila kung mm -hmm. magaling sila, kung saan sila magaling. Yeah. So, uh, kasi meron pang mga maliliit na iba pang portions yun. Ngayong sa you were going out already, going out of the one studio, for, one, and 
Yeah. Ano one, naman yung portion na yun? One for all, all for one. One for all, all. Yeah. And community. So, good bahay. Paso. You touch the barangays. Uh Oo. -oh. Diba? So, syempre, ang nasa isip mo, pag napunta ka sa isang barangay, lahat ng bar tao na nandun sa barangay, manonood. Pero Kasi mas malaki production cost noon, di ba? Yeah, meron kang outside, meron kang... It's actually a different show. It, it was ah. a different show. So, yung equipment mo rito, ganun din ang equipment mo rito. So, different talaga. Mag it was really expensive. Expensive, you know? Yeah. At saka yung remote at that time. There was, uh, you have to rent a microwave. Correct, a microwave. Yes, a microwave. Hindi katulad ngayon, ha? dadaan lang dito ngayon, sa... Ngayon, madali na, fiber, fiber na lang. Diba? Yes, yes. SIM card so, lang na may we see, data. We see technology also in your productions yeah. na mas nagagamit at uh, lalong, uh, you know, puts the... Uh, puts the program accessible to yeah. a lot of people. Yes. Oh. Kailangan so, ganun. Oh, oh, Hindi ka pwedeng... Hihinto. Uh Oo. -oh. Kailangan talaga you go with the times. For instance, nagkaroon oh. ng social media. So, gawa ka rin ng social media. Okay. Di ba? So, you have your YouTube. You can, you can do streaming. Pero you were also... Uh, you discover new talents. Di ba? Because of up the to, different contests. Correct. And also up to the point of having a, a love team like yung Aldab, di ba? Yeah. What a phenomenon. Yeah, it was an accident. Accident. Tell yeah. me about that accident. Because si Main, Main Mendoza, si Yaya Dab. Inintroduce yun eh, pero walang pumansin sa kanya. Eh. Ay hindi man alam nila siya, alalay lang siya ni ni Lawali Jose. At hindi siya sa salita. Oo, yun yung munang role niya. Uh -oh. Tapos. Ganun lang normal. Tapos, Basta lang ba siya, hindi lang, lang salita? Oo, oh, oh, naisa lang si Alden, yung reaction niya. Yung eh, crush niya pala si Alden. So parang oh. may kilig. Na nakita ng lahat ng tao, ay may kilig. Diba? Ah. So nung nakita yun ng creative, ginawa na nila ng story. Ginawa na nila ng story. Because it's a different story. It's, it's, it's real. I mean, nakikita mo siya. Hindi ka tulad ng drama. Drama series na love story. Uh -huh. Pre-tape. Di ba? Uh -huh. Ito hindi. They're there. Live. It's actual uh -huh. time. Uh -huh. Di ba? That na nagkakaroon ng repartee or ligawan. You know, uh -huh. yun. So, Natatandaan ko eh. Tapos, sa tamang panang home. Eh, yeah. Tapos pumasok uh -huh. pa yung si Lola ni Dora na nagbibigay ng advice. Uh -huh. So, it hit the households kasi unang-una tayong mga Pinoy, chismosa talaga tayo. So, pag may nakita tayong ganyan, curious tayo, di ba? Pinapanood natin. Mm -hmm. May nag-aaway, may nag-ano, pinapanood natin. Eh, ito magliligawan sa, sa ere. Oh. Eh, ito, nakikita mo na chichismis na, na, nasa loob ng bahay mo na siya. Part of your house na. Tapos, meron teaching. Tapos, oh. tapos lahat tayo naman. romantic. Di ba? We're in love with love. Uh, parang ikaw yun. Ako ba yun? Romantic? Parang okay. hindi naman. Pa paano ang uh, naging transition mo? Di ba? You were also producing films. Yeah. Oo. I like, I like that part. Kasi yung, yung we know, parang uh, sister uh, medium yan eh. Di ba? Mm -hmm. yan, yan dalawang yan. Nag-merchandising siya for mm -hmm. film and yeah. film would, would also help out in uh, mm -hmm. television. Mm -hmm. So, uh, was it uh, difficult for you to adjust to uh, producing films? No, because when uh, we were doing in Bulaga, we also started producing teleseries. Yes. So we had to protect, to something. protect, no, no, that's a producer. Yeah. I'm not, sorry. Do you want to cut me? Ito, <laughs> producer. Yun. So to protect in Bulaga, kasi yung kalaban naglagay ng soap opera. Alright. Mga yagit. Batang yagit. Kami, to, in a order to protect our airtime, bulaga, sabi namin, sabi ng boss, gawa rin tayo ng teleserye. Mm -hmm. At teka, batang yagit. Ah, mga poor yan. Ako, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Gawa tayo, iba naman. Eredero. Mga mayayaman naman yung mga... <laughs> Kinontra lang namin. Oh, oh. So, doing a teleserie is just like doing movies. Mm. Except that a movie, you only do it up to a certain time. Like 12, 12 days, 15 days, 25 oh. days, depende. 
Ang teleserye, you do it, depende rin sa. It could run for months, Oo. hindi lang weeks. Tapos laging uh, number one sa film festivals, laging uh, napupuntahan yung mga, mga films ninyo. Diba? Uh, uh, is that... No, me, no. I, what I produce, oh. I produce actually for Vic Soto. Ah, right, right, right. Oh. No, but the first production that we did was for APT, that's Mr. Tuviera. Yung son niya, si Mike Tuviera, directed. started directing, so directed mm -hmm. that. So, ako ang ginawang line producer. Kasi it's just like producing a TV show. That's right. That's Wala right. naman ikinaiba. Shorter version na. Yeah. Okay. So, gusto ko rin sa, bilang isang producer, what makes you say yes to a project? But before you answer that, we'll be back after a few reminders. Welcome back to Cine Pinoy with our guest, Malu Chowa Fagar. So, ito na tayo. Oh, ito, bilang isang producer, what makes you say yes to a project? Hindi ako choosy. Basta binigyan ako ng project, gagawin ko. Wag lang bold film. Yes, yes, yes. I can understand that and that's, that's a good answer. And you are currently one of the board members of MTRCB. Can you share with us the nature of your work there? Okay. Being MTRCB is the other side of the fence, diba? <laughs> Dati, when Eid Bulaga was, when I was, when I was still in Eid Bulaga, madalas kami patawag ng MTRCB. So I would go to MTRCB and explain kung whatever violation there is, uh, we, we would be there, kami papagalitan. Now I'm on, I'm on, on the that, other side I'm of the fence. I'm on the other side. Nas part ako na adjudication board. Pag merong violation, ako ngayon yung nakakupo doon. Diba? <laughs> oh, oh. Tapos I also rate and review movies. Yes. So, it, if it's uh, PG, G, PG-13, uh, Ano ka ba? Mapagpalayang uh, MTRCB <laughs> board <laughs> member ba? Ako? Uh, uh, no, I stick by the IRR of the MTRCB. The okay. implementing rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. I cannot go beyond that. You know, but, mm -hmm. but mean, pero kasi meron rin mga taong nag ex agad. Oh. Ako, the, you have to really think about it and then, and ano yung importance talaga nung eksena ng yun oh. for that movie. Some people, syempre varying talaga ang ano, ang um, ano tawag dyan? <laughs> ang mga iniisip mga, ng mga oh, tao. Oo, syempre. So, talagang, you just have to be very careful. So, the best way is, stick to the IRR. Uh, okay. No, no one so, will question you. You know, we should have another, another episode talking about MTRCB. But, well, ito muna ang ating uh, grocery mag list. Mag-asa ko ng permission <laughs> kung MTRCB. <laughs> Sige. Okay. Uh, what is, ito yung mabilis ha, fast, ano yun, parang slambok. Okay. No, yung panahon na, okay. What is your favorite Filipino dish? Kare-kare. The one with the bituka. I don't like the kare-kare lang. The yung beef. bituka na, ng, si, ng, na ng isaw. No, the basta. Isaw ang basta. bituka. Oh, basta, okay. Ah, you mean <laughs> the, 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 the tribe. The, tri the tribe no. and the bituka of the babi. Okay. And, what was your favorite pastime or hobby during... COVID-19. Netflix. Ah, uh, yeah. Of course. Uh, kung meron kang one superpower, ano yun? I want to Na, be hmm. invisible. So I can make chismis. Ah, <laughs> gano'n. <laughs> Marites. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede ko i-chismis pagkatapos. <laughs> okay. Then what is your biggest um, what if? My what if? Actually, wala. Pero ngayon, iniisip ko, what if I were a billionaire? I'd love that. What if okay. I were a billionaire? What can I do, di ba? Oh. What can I do? And wow. what will I do? F okay. Tuloy na ako, ha? Okay. Fast food chain. Mm, not a fan, but pwede na McDonald's. Okay. 
foreign TV show? Uh, you know, I enjoy watching Ali Macbeal. That's an old series. Yeah. Ngayon ko lang nakikita yung old series na yan. Uh -huh. Galing, uh -huh. actually. One sentence advice to our young people. Have faith in God. I like that. Who's your favorite local director? Local director? Oh. Ang dami ng local director. Ang dami ng local director. Bakit nyo ko tinatawag na local director? Ay, well, yeah. Film producer ka eh. Oh. Mahirap. No, how can you say? I don't have a favorite director. Basta I like a director who would who would obey me. Like when I say, Who would obey you? I love that. Wala ka nang... Kaya yung producer at director, madalas, nagbabakbakan yan. Kasi sinabi ko, wala ka nang budget. Palitan mo yung location mo. Papalitan niya dapat ang location niya. <laughs> Alright. Kung hindi ka nasa television or film, where would you be? Uh, what profession? I wanted to be a lawyer. Tinamad lang ako mag-aral. Okay. Uh, okay. Anong gadget na you cannot live without? Siguro lahat ng tao. Cellphone. Okay. Diba? okay. So, a favorite song? I won't last a day without you. Carpenter. Ah, I won't last a day without you. Uh -oh. Kaya natin yan. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wag na so, natin katayin dito. Uh -oh. <laughs> Your most memorable vacation? Uh, my cruise sa Alaska. With oh. my mom and my siblings. Uh, kasi nandun din ang mom yeah. at mga kapatid mo. And she paid so, for the trip. Okay, go. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. Diyan na po nagtatapos. Ang ating, mamaya babalikan kita. At dyan po nagtatapos ang ating episode ngayong araw. Maraming maraming salamat kay Malu Chowa Fagar sa pagpapunlak sa aming imbitasyon. Patuloy po nating tangkilikin ang pelikulang Pilipino, Catch Us Again. Next time at TVUP as we bring in another Filipino film artist for a chat. I'm Gigi Javier Alfonso. Hanggang sa muli. Ito ang Sine Pinoy.